pray I'm trusting God with this because I don't know what's happened and, and, and we can't figure it out on our own and we don't know where to even start looking besides here because there's no indication of where he went and what did he go on his own accord or what we don't know. Community members gathering to search for a man who's been missing for more than six weeks. Have you seen Walter Moody Jr? His family suspects he disappeared under suspicious circumstances. CN New Yorker was there as they searched the area police have been concentrating on. She has the developing details from Elyria. Where is Walter Moody Jr, affectionately known as Petey? His family and friends want to know. Saturday, about five dozen people gathered at Burr Oak in Elyria to organize search parties to look for him. I'm missing my brother. Uh, missing our loved one, my mother's missing her son. Um, it's not something that we thought we'd ever go through. Um, it's overwhelming, as you can see, that we are surrounded in the Metro Parks area by woods, rivers, everything on each side, but it's a job that has to be done. And so they trek through the thick brush, wearing rain slickers and boots, some in t-shirts, with Moody Jr.'s photo and details about his disappearance. Elyria police say the 55-year-old Lorraine man hasn't been seen since August 27th when he left his mother's home. Five days later, Elyria police found Moody Jr.'s card, a 2010 Toyota Corolla in the 100th block of Regency Court in a neighborhood. Officers found it unlocked and abandoned with his personal affects. His mother tells me something isn't right. With all of his belongings, uh, wallet, cell phone, keys in the ignition, everything in the car. It just like he walked away and we don't know. There have been no signs of him anywhere, no communication. Cops have been looking, searching, and we have not found anything. Police detectives have been searching now for weeks, even using social media to get the word out. But so far, there haven't been any results. Anyone with information is urged to call Elyria police and tips can even be left anonymously. Moody Jr.'s loved ones are assisting, hoping to get some answers. And Pete was a hard worker, a loving man, a devoted father, a devoted son. Um, he was the type of person that called and checked in on mom every day, went by, cut her grass if he wasn't living there at the time or whatever. He went by, cut grass, did whatever it was needed. Um, you know, just a, a loving brother. Reporting in Elyria. We just want to see more being done. We, yeah. we want to see it to come to you know fruition, just know. Yeah. That, uh, we're out here doing what it takes. See a New Yorker, 19 News.